Sunshines, welcome back and thanks for popping in. I am so glad you're here. So just recently I shared a video about how I'm going to have a slow summer and the intentions behind that and how I was going to execute it. In that video, I said I really only wanted to work with boxes or do videos that just brought me joy and that I enjoy opening. And today's trio of boxes are exactly that. They're boxes that I just absolutely love that make me swoon every month and it is the trio of boxes from journal junk box i just think these are executed really really well if you're a stationary journal notebook pen sticker girl like I am, that I think these boxes are for you. There's three different ones that we're gonna talk about. The first one that they do is their journal junk sack. This is a little bit more budget friendly. It's $27.99 a month. Now keep in mind, specifically with journal junk box, if you do like a six or a 12 month subscription, the price you get about three to four items in this box. Then they have their journal junk box, which I have to say, I don't know if it's going to show on camera. It's not really. This box, maybe it shows on the side a little bit, has a big bump in it. I mean, it is heavy and it is packed. This box usually has like between eight to 10 things in it. It's like the big daddy of stationary subscription boxes. Occasionally we'll get a fun lifestyle product in here. Now this one is $52.99 a month and the baby of the group that they just launched last month and I have to say probably the best kids box I've ever opened in the history of my channel. They just launched their kids creative box. So this is a way to sort of get kids to learn to journal but it gives them the most fun activities to make them actually want to write and explore and give some journal prompts and fun craft supplies. It's done really well, really well. This one's $37.95. Now just FYI, if you want to get the bundle of the journal junk box sack and the box, it is $71.95, which is about a $10 savings. And then when you go to check out with the bundle, you actually get a discounted shipping rate with these two boxes. Now the theme with these boxes are always the same, but the items inside are going to be a little bit different. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to dive in. If you like what you see, as always, please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up that really does help me in the algorithm also if you don't mind to just say hey girl hey or sunshine squad or whatever in the comments i would really appreciate that if you're stopping by for the first time comment below where you're from that lets me know you're new so i can welcome you personally in the comments and we are just going to dive in now usually i start with the journal junk sack i think i'm gonna mix it up a little bit this time because the bump in this box i don't think it's showing on camera <laughs> But the bump in this box has got me intrigued and it is so heavy that I'm actually going to start with that one first. So the box is always the same. Very, very cute. And this is a mama and her daughters who are younger, probably 10, 12, somewhere in there. Help her to pack her boxes. I think it's a family affair and I really like that she's teaching her daughters about her business. So when you open it up, it says June sees the day. I'm a June baby and I am one of those people that celebrates her birthday all month long. I'm so excited for this first June box. Not only is my birthday in June, but I feel like I come alive in the summer months. I really do. And look how beautiful that is. Now in this box, we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. And one of them is a surprise. Now, if you're like me and you're not really a journaler or you don't know where to start, I feel like that was always my hesitation in journaling as I I would sit there and not really know what to write. They actually give you journal prompts every single month that help get you started. And I feel like a lot of these would be a great way to jump off. Um, one way I could love myself more. Um, where do I want to be in five years? What's your best quality? And also, if you look up journaling prompts online or Pinterest, you can find a lot of them. I didn't even know that was a thing. But my goal is to journal a little bit this summer. And that is what that looks like. Seize the day is the theme. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. We've got some little crunchy things here. What do you call those? Styrofoam peanuts. And then I see something good right here. I did allude that sometimes this box has lifestyle products in it. And it does this time. So just chill. How adorable. 
This is going to be perfect around the pool this summer. You can probably do hot or cold, and it's got the little thing so you can close it off. So if you spill it, or if you have a cat, she's not showing right now, Lola, that comes and knocks over your drink when you leave them on the table. <laughs> this is going to save my drinks. Look at the color. Isn't that pretty? It's a metal one, too. I love it gorgeous okay so that's the first thing in here all right the next thing is all boxed up looks like this Ooh, what is this oh what is this <laughs> i thought it was broken for a minute but it's not oh how beautiful it's this fun little jar it's got a cork top so you can stick like say uh, pins in there. What am I trying to say? Those little push pins. What's my problem today? And then it's got binder clips all in it and they're so pretty. They're kind of ice creamy colors and some of them like this one's got little confetti on it. I don't know if you can see like the polka dots on it. So the white ones aren't just white. They have a little fun to them. But when you're done with the bind, oh my gosh, they actually have words on them too. How cool is this? Wait, okay. So this one says, oh, they, I think they all say achieve. Do they? Yeah. Oh, achieve, believe, and hold on, dream. So you can kind of see the orange ones say achieve, the blue ones or periwinkle ones say believe, and these say dream. And if you wanted to store something else in this um, little jar, you could take the binder clips out and put them in, a, you know, in your desk and then put whatever you want in here. You could use this jar to do a fun activity like have everybody put their favorite meal in or their favorite game. So if you want to do family game night with your family or, you know, figure out what's for dinner, you just pick out a little um, paper and you go from there. I mean, obviously, that's just something off the top of my head that you could reuse that jar, which I love. Okay, the next one says, life is better at the beach. I totally agree. It's got those beautiful shells. I love that one. My grandparents lived on an island off the coast of Florida and had a boat and a um, seafood restaurant. And we would get on the boat and go to these little islands and we would feel the sand dollars with our toes in the sand. And I, that's a core memory for me when I was little. This one has got a magnet. And then it's one of those, oh, it's so pretty. It's got the sand dollar on the side here. It's a little list pad. This is great to have your grocery list on or any errands that you need to do. Um, I don't know about you, but ever since COVID, <laughs> I don't enjoy going out anymore. <laughs> so when I do go out, I hit everything in one day and I don't want to forget anything. So this would be perfect for that. All right, so next, ooh, we have this beautiful pen. It's got some weight to it. This is a nice, nice pen. Wow. Okay. It's really pretty. It's got like a floral motif, which I love because my husband hopefully will not get in my desk and pick this one. It probably won't stop him. Look at the top of it. It's got an interesting shape. That's really pretty. I wonder if it writes in blue or black ink. I think actually this notebook that I'm using is from a past journal junk box. Oh yeah. It writes in black and it's beautiful nice Ooh, this might be my new favorite pen i'm gonna stick it to the side here oh my cuteness look at this little notebook with the toucan oh my goodness he looks like he's a sassy little minx doesn't he he likes like he'll turn around and just shoot out the one-liners and there's one on the back. Oh, he's got a little sparkle too. Both of them are sparkly. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Really pretty. No, look at the pages. Even the pages are beautiful. My grandmother and my mother, I think they had something called penmanship maybe when they were growing up. They had the most beautiful handwriting. And I remember we had to work on our handwriting when I was in school, but mine was never beautiful like theirs was. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that, but um, I love a notebook with lines because it helps me keep things a little bit straighter. If you know what I mean? That's pretty. I, I love that. Okay, the next thing we have is called Sticky Picks Car- what? Oh, inter oh, interesting. Okay, 
So it's cardstock and stickers. So if you're make, doing card making or scrapbooking or whatever you wanted, this first piece is actually, they're perforated. Each little piece is perforated and it's on like a cardstock, almost like a cardboard. It's like really, really thick. I don't know if it's showing. It's thicker than a traditional cardstock. So you can add these to cards or whatever you want, scrapbooking or whatever. How fun, I like the camera. The green camera, isn't that cute, and the seahorse. And then this one looks like this. I like the flip-flops on this one. And the little beach ball and the sun. Oh, these are good. I like the artwork on these. This one says, making waves. Okay, and then this one is great. This is great for um, scrapbooking. Got the little beach chairs, and then you've got the longer strips. These would be great in my planner, too. I didn't even think about that. Ooh, now I'm thinking planner. Get the little fish here. And the next page is all stickers. I love the artwork. Aren't those flip-flops pretty? And then there's little uh, gold foiled letters. These would be perfect for a planner. I really like that palm tree too. There's a lot on here. And then there's lots of strips, which again would be great in a planner. Card making, lots of different things that you can do with this. A junk journal, obviously. Is there any more? These are really thick too. Now I think these are more of the cardstock and not the stickers but each individual one will pop out. Wow, love that. Okay, the next thing we have in here, what is this? This is called a memory file. Oh, neat. So these are little files. Let's open them. These would be great for junk journaling if you junk journal, but also if you're just in the middle of like, a paper craft card making or something. This would keep all of your little bits and bobs together. Ooh, yes, I could definitely see junk journaling. I've been wanting to kind of start junk journaling, but I'm afraid to go down that rabbit hole <laughs> because some people collect, I know my best friend loves quilting fabrics. I love paper. So we've got that guy. This one's got a map on it. Isn't that pretty? Look at the scalloped edges. Oh my goodness, look at this. These would be great even for like party invitations. You could do a lot with this when you if you cut it out. And then this one is striped. Wow, this one's kind of got a grid. This one might be my favorite, the little old fashioned polka dots. And look how they're all different shapes in the cutouts. So those are really fun. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this gorgeous journal that is the theme of the box, Seize the Day. Isn't that pretty? And it's got like a raw edge binding, which is interesting. And when you open it up, it says, this journal belongs to, ooh, there's something written on the bottom of this page, but the pages are kind of creamy white and lined. They're thick, but not super, super thick. I think if you had a fine tip pen, like a Le Pen, it's not going to bleed through. Um, on the bottom, this one says it's written in the stars. Oh, it says something different. Good things are coming. Happiness comes in waves. Love to be strong, be bold, have no fear. Go where the stars take you. My happy place. How cool. So it says a little saying at the bottom of each one kind of interesting and fun. So that was our journal junk box. I really like that mug. I really, I really like those stickers. I liked everything. The toucan little notebook, so, so good. All right, let's open our journal junk sack. Remember this one is $27.99. This one's kind of a little taste of the bigger box. You just get a few less items. Ooh, right off the bat. I see something so cute. We got a little zipper pouch and it's this canvas material, which is nice. And it says, Beach Babe. Look at the nice long handle. Isn't that cute? You put your sunscreen, your lip balm, all your things in here. You can put this in your purse and just do your lipsticks and your mints. 
Um, you can put your pens in here, which is what I do a lot. I like to go to Panera with my planner and just like plan out what I'm doing and I'll put all like my colored pens and stickers and things in a bag like this. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, right off the bat, I love the first thing. And everything else is in this little baggie here. Open it up. Sorry, I keep popping the bubble wrap. I didn't mean to. Journal card. It says, even in the darkest places, if we look hard enough, hope can be found. Love. There's that. So you can put this in your journal or your planner. All right, we have our journal prompts here. We got a set of pins in this one. These say ocean on them. These are waterproof ink and they're a fine tip gel pen. Look at the rainbow, y'all, look. This is the type of thing that I would put in here to write in my planner. Lovely. Those are gonna go together right away. Man, I gotta tell you, the journal junk sack, if you are on a, a smaller budget, it is so worth it every single month. Okay, then we got a bunch of stickers. These look more like planner stickers. These look like they're gonna fit in my Erin Condren. Look at that with the plumeria and the palm leaves. Oh, I love that corner one, the flamingo. Mm, this is up my alley. Yes, look at the banner. This is gonna go straight in that bag. I'm taking it with me and this is gonna be my June spread. Maybe the spread for my birthday in my planner. Look how pretty that is. She finds the best stuff. Look at this one, it's the barbecue time. That would be fun for Father's Day. The little flip-flops. And then this has got a bunch of words. There's a pineapple, eat, beach, sleep, repeat. Yes, please, that would be my mantra. There's even one that says 4th of July on it. A little sun there. Okay, so we got that pack of stickers. And then look at this guy. It says Serenity. It's an ocean themed journal. So how, you see how they both have the same theme, but different items inside. So this one says Serenity on each page. It does have a little bookmark, the little ribbon that you can keep um, wherever you've last journaled. Or sometimes I just use things like this for to-do lists, ideas, things like that. So you've got, these are white pages with kind of a teal line to them. And again, these pages are thick, but not extra thick. Really pretty. Really pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. I love it. All right, so that was my journal junk box and journal junk sack. Now let's open our kids creative box. I have to tell you, I think I said it in the opening, that first kids creative box that she did last month was my number one favorite kids box I've ever opened. I just think it was so well thought out. So I'm anxious to see if she did it again. Last month's theme was, what was it? Space. She did a space okay. that says creative kids write. And then there's the little card. She gives the kids some journaling tips. And then she's got the June journaling map with all of the items in the box. So in this box, we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. And then June you are magical. So magical is the theme. I love that. And you see the little unicorn um, journaling prompts here. So if they need a little help with writing, that would be great. I love these. Fueled with happy thoughts. I liked this that she did this also last month. She put all of the different emotions, not all of them, but grateful, happy, sad, angry, frustrated. It's called the Moodoscope. So kids can kind of articulate how they're feeling. I think that's really great. All right, let me open it up. So oh, she did not, how adorable. She gave them some cotton candy. I mean, what kid doesn't want some cotton candy, right? I don't, I would, I'm an adult and I would. Um, it says that this guy is enjoy the fluffy melt in your mouth treat. Okay, so that's the first item. The next item is unicorn stickers. These are really cute too. Aren't those fun? There's little rainbows, they're all pastels. 
Okay, the next thing is by Yubi. This is a ballpoint pen. How stinking adorable is this? Oh, my lanta. I'm in love. So they can write to their little heart's content. They have a locking journal. This one is in shiny foil and it says, believe in magic with the lock. Did y'all have a locking journal when you were little and thought you were so cool? So cool. It has a shiny foil to it. Ah, that is adorable. You see the little lock and keys there. So fun. Oh my goodness. All right, we've got some highlighters here. It says you have a gel highlighter set. And then you've got, oh, how fun is this? No, oh, this would be great. I said road trip earlier, a car trip, but this would be great just to have in your back pocket on vacation. Isn't that cute? It's got the little chalk holder with all the different colored chalk. Adorable. All right, we have some washi tape. Does washi tape have unicorns on it? Let's see. Yes, it's got unicorns on it and little girls and clouds. Really, really pretty. and then they've got a little pencil pouch that they can keep all of their goodies in and I'm looking at some of the journal prompts this is one of the weeks she gives a prompt for each week this is week three it says imagine you find a magic door that can take you anywhere where in the world would you go write about the fun adventures you would have there and sometimes in the journal prompts she'll have them like draw a picture or take your stickers and make a scene in your journal so she really encourages them to use all of the items in the box to write in their journal i just think this is such a great idea Box number two, she hit out of the part two. So those are my journal junk boxes. I hope that you love them. I don't think I said in the beginning, but I do have a 15% off discount for any of the boxes if you want to check them out. So I will leave those below. And you guys, I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.